Hey everyone, today's it is about when you overthink a lot. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. The soft hum of the kitchen's fluorescent lights filled the room, casting a warm glow on the countertop where you stood, your fingers tapping nervously. Your thoughts raced faster than Baco's explosions as you attempted to prepare a simple dinner. But despite your best efforts, your mind kept wandering back to the upcoming weekend. Baku longed against the doorway. His crimson eyes strained on you, a slight smirk tugging at his lips. He had known you long enough to recognize the telltale signs of your overthinking. With a playful tone, he finally broke the silence. Oi, what's got you so worked up, oh? You released a heavy sigh. Placing the knife you'd been using to slice vegetables on the cutting board and turning to face him. It's just, you know, how I am. I overthink everything, especially when it comes to our plans. He fished up from the doorway and closed the distance between you, his strong arms encircling you from behind. His chin fell on the resting place on your shoulder, and he murmured, You worry too damn much. It's gonna be fine. Nestling in his embrace, you realize the comfort of his presence. I know, and you admit it. It's just that meeting your old friends from UA and spending the whole week on that, that reunion. What if they don't like me? What if I say something stupid? A soft chuckle escaped Baku's lips. You won't say anything stupid. And if anyone has a problem with it, They'll have to do it with me, and you know what, right? So, don't worry, okay? His words eased your anxiety, and a small grateful smile curled on your lips. Thanks, Katsuki. I just want everything to be perfect. He turns you around gently, his crimson eyes usually fierce, softened as you cupped your face in his closed hands. Hey, listen. Me being there with me is all that matters, and if anyone has a problem with it, they're idiots. His unwavering support and love washed over you, bringing warmth to your heart. You pulled him into a heartfelt embrace, your voice barely above a whisper. I'm so lucky to have you. He responded by pressing his lips tenderly against yours, a sweet, lingering kiss that dissolved the worries that have plagued your mind. As he pulled away, a hint of a smirk laid on his lips. We're lucky to have each other, Damas. Now, let's finish cooking. And get ready for an amazing weekend together. With Baku's unwavering presence by your side, you found the strength to conquer your overactive thoughts and look forward to the adventures. And look forward to the adventures the weekend would bring. The rest of the evening unfolded in a comforting routine. With Baku as your important sauce shift, you managed to get together a delicious meal, each movement in the kitchen. Synchronized with a shared sense of camaraderie, your laughter echoed off the walls, intermingling with the enticing aroma of the food. It was moments like these in the simplicity of everyday life that made you cherish your relationship with Baku even more. As you both sat down to enjoy your culinary creation, me couldn't help but feel a sense of content and flush over you. Baku's confident and assertive nature balanced out your tendency to overthink, and it was one of the many reasons that you loved him. Over dinner, you revisited the topic of the weekend plans once more, discussing the details of the reunion and the people you would meet. Baku's stories about his friends from UA painted vivid portraits of their personalities and quirks. He imitated their voices and expressions, making you both laugh and feel more at ease about the upcoming reunion. After the place were cleared and the kitchen was tidied up, it was time to tackle the task for packing for the weekend. Baku's idea of packing was to toss a few things into a bag and call it a day. But you, being the meticulous planner that you were, had a checklist to ensure that you didn't forget anything important. 
Bakugo couldn't resist teasing you mercilessly about your detailed packing list, but he couldn't deny that it did come in handy when he realized that he had forgotten his charger. As the weekend approached, your excitement grew, and Bakugo's unwavering support continued to bolster your confidence. He made you feel like you could take on the world, and with him by your side, you believed that you could. Finally, the day arrived. With Bak's fact and excitement in the air, you and Bakugo set off to meet his old friends. He walked hand in hand, and you couldn't tell but marvel at how fortunate you are to have Bakugo as your boyfriend. Your overactive thoughts have been silenced by his love and reassurance, and you were ready to face the weekend with confidence and joy. Little did you know that the weekend ahead would be filled with laughter, new friendships, and unforgettable memories, all thanks to the love and support of Bakugo, your rock, your confidant, and your partner in every adventure life had to offer. The car ride to the reunion was filled with a mixture of excitement and a touch of nervousness. You and Bakugo chatted about what to expect, recounting stories of your own school days and speculating on what he had become of his friends. Bakugo's had never left yours, serving as a constant reminder of his reassuring presence. As you arrived at the venue, you could feel your heart rate quicken. The room was abuzz with laughter and animated conversations. Bakugo's friends had already gathered, and he introduced you with a proud smile. Everyone, this is Wyatt, my amazing partner. The initial moments were a whirlwind of handshakes, hugs, and polite introductions. Your overthinking tendencies started to creep in as you started to make a good impression. What if they didn't like you? What if you did not fit in? However, Bakugo's friends turned out to be warm and welcoming. They shared stories of their time at UA and their adventures as pro heroes, making you feel like you are a part of their tight-knit group. Your worries began to dissipate, replaced by a sense of belonging. Throughout the weekend, you discovered that Bako's friends were not only interesting, but genuinely caring people. They were fascinated by your quirk, admired your accomplishments, and shared their own quirks and experiences. It was as if you had known them for years. And so, as the weekend came to a close, you realized that your initial worries had been unfounded. You had not only survived, but thrived in the new environment, thanks to Bakugo's support and kindness of his friends. With a heart full of joy and newfound friendships, you and Bakugo left the reunion, hand in hand, ready to face whatever adventures life had in store for you next. Thank you guys for listening. I hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye.